Welcome back to Nerd Chic. I'm doing one more tutorial video for today to help some folks out and today I'm going to show you how to best share a new ID and a calendar invite for anyone that wants to get on Zoom. This is going to be helpful because if you've got back-to-back -back Zooms people are going to end up stacking on top of each other if you're just using your personal meeting ID. This is going to be more helpful so each one's a separate meeting ID and you can invite them to it and send that to them. So the first thing is, is open your Zoom and then go to Schedule. Click Schedule right here and look at this. You're going to be able to call it whatever. Meeting, let's say meet, Meeting with Team or whatever. You can set the date of that meeting. I'm going to set it for today. You're going to do, I'm going to do, let's say 2.30 p.m. and it's going to go until 3 p.m. You see what we're doing here? Meeting ID, generate automatically. That's the crucial piece. If you put all of them to your personal meeting ID, guys, you will have, if you've got back-to-back -back meetings, you'll have people pop in that meeting that shouldn't be there. So that's what you want to do. So now if you've only got one meeting and you want to use your PM ID, do it. But if you've got back-to-back -back meetings, do generate automatically. Okay? So this one I'm saying I got back-to-back -back meetings. I don't want people to end up on top of each other. My host video is on. I'm going to make sure their video is on. I need to make sure telephone and audio can, can get in, and I'm going to send it by iCal. That's Apple's calendar. There's other ones. I want to enable before host because this meeting ID is not my PMI. It's not my personal ID, so they can join before me, and I'll meet them there. And then mute participants on entry, and I could set it to record the meeting automatically, but I like to do that on my own. So I'm going to schedule it. It's going to drop into my calendar. And then from my calendar, boom, here it comes. I can choose which one I want it in. I'm going to put it in my work calendar, right? And then I'm going to click OK. Boom, it's there. And guess what? Now I have this calendar meeting with all of the info here, including the meeting space. You can see that there. And all this wonderful stuff. And all I have to do is invite people to it. So let's open it up and edit it for a second, right? I'm going to invite some attendees. And let's see, add invitee. I can invite my friends, right? You just put their name in. So this is going to be, and again, this isn't a real email, but if you're doing it, you click enter, and then you add that email, and boom, it's sending them an email right now to invite them to this meeting, and they've just gotten it in their calendar. Isn't that wonderful? It is that easy, guys. They get all this information. When it's time to meet, they get there. And they're not overlapping other meetings. But that is the best way to do this. So hopefully this has helped you today on making your calendar invites, whether you use your PMI, your personal meeting identifier, or the number that it makes automatically, and invite folks to meetings. So you corp folks, that's helpful, I hope. If you're doing business with this, it's helpful. Um, you know, maybe even teachers or whatever, if you're getting your students on, it can be helpful to send it out to their parents or whatever. Now, here's the deal. Don't forget to subscribe to NerdCheek. Don't forget to tell your friends about what we're doing. Don't forget get to give this a thumbs up because that's how we keep going. And then if you've got any more questions or any more tutorials we can do for you, be sure to put them in the comments and we'll get to them as soon as we can. You guys be blessed. Enjoy.